So, when I was in school, apart from learning the myth that the progenitor of the Yorubaris, Odudua, landed with chain from heaven, I also learned that Yorubas came from Egypt. Other sources said Mecca in Saudi Arabia. Now, those are Yorubas claim. But on the day of the death of an elephant, different types of knives will be seen. This is a proverb I will use to describe the different tribes that have also claimed that the Yoruba tribe came from them. Bini, Igalas. Yes, they do, and it will be absurd to ever pronounce that in public. But a careful look at their claim might either convince you to believe that or confuse you. Because how can Bini or Igala with such small population or land size produce something as big as Yoruba? But actually, Saudi Arabia too today has an estimated population of 35 million, while Yoruba has about the same size. So it's not about size. Many things affect population and land size. War, migration, birth rate, the list goes on. So kindly delete that from your mind for some time while you join me in examining the theories of the making up of the Yoruba states today. Firstly, I will brief about Mecca and Egypt being the first and the most acceptable source of the Yorubas because many Yorubas don't know about the stories too. Odudua, the father of Yorubaris, is said to have migrated from the ancient Egypt of Mecca in Saudi Arabia because his father, Lamurudu, and most of their Arabian relatives were Muslims. But Odudua is an idol worshipper. They revolted against him and he fled with his followers from Mecca to Ilife. The Yoruba race began to grow through the expansion of Odudua sons and daughters, and they formed peoples and languages which include the Egbados, Ketu, Ijebu, Ijesha, Ondo, Ikale, Ilaje, and so on. Yorubas are also said to have migrated from Egypt by various scholars due to invasion of Egypt. They went further to pinpoint similarities between the cultural practices of ancient Egypt and the similarities between their languages. So when they migrated, they came down to Ileife. Meanwhile, the area has been inhabited by the Nok culture for more than 40,000 years. They mixed with them by conquering their existing communities, ruled by Obatala, reunited them into one, while others fled east and Odudua became the king. It has never been disputed that people lived here before Odudua and others came. Now, let's talk about Bini claim or starting Yoruba, which somehow does not disagree with this. Once upon a time on my channel, I posted about how Bini was in a political crisis and requested Odudua from Ileife to come over and be their king. But because he was too old for the journey, he sent Oromiyon, his son, to become their king, and Oromiyon's son till today is still their king. Some Benins disagree, but Benins that knows their history agreed and added something for us. Please try to pause and read this, for it is a lie people I watch this video. Before you. Today, as the 40th Oba of Benin, a direct descendant of Oromiyon, the son of Odudua, whom the Benin people of that era knew as a Kaladiran, their self-exiled prince, who later became ruler in Ileife, the Benin people recognized Odudua and his origin. Both Benin and Ileife came today agreed that Oromiyo went to Benin to become the king. Now, why would an existing city decide to sort for a king in a strange land? That's a question you need to ask. Benin's claim that Odudua was a self-exiled prince from Benin who went to Ileife. Does the claim that the Yorubas came from Egypt disagree with this? Yes, I know. It does disagree because Yoruba was made up of people who already lived there and Odudua and his followers. It is Odudua that is said to have either come from Mecca, Egypt or Benin. People who claim Egyptians settled in Ileife also stated that they did not go straight to Ileife. Igala people also claim they came from Egypt and as well 
has similarities with Egypt and Yoruba. Finally, Benins are arguably said to have come from the Nile of Egypt. Using an instance of the Israelites' migration from Egypt to Canaan, there is a possibility that Odudua migration to Ilefe might have been a continuous movement of Egyptians giving birth on the way and their children continuously settling and resettling and passing through various places including Benin to Ilefe.